for this one, we're going to talk about um, blood products. So can you describe to me the series of events from uh, the donor of blood to the recipient of blood? So from the person who's donating the blood all the way to the recipient. Um, so after blood, after blood donation, blood is stored. Um, so, well, it, it don't know, it don't know can, can give out like maybe 450 to 500 mils of blood. Um, and this blood can be used to produce different blood products. Um, out of the, the standard donation, we can get about 250 um, mils of blood as packed red blood cells. Um, the remaining plasma products can be refrigerated or stored or um, frozen. And then um, a part of it can be taken, can be, um, can be used to produce fresh frozen plasma. And then um, another part of it can be slowly thawed and used to produce cryoprecipitate. Um, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And you mentioned some of it has to be frozen. Do you know which blood products have to be frozen? The fresh, fresh, um, the, the um, fresh frozen plasma and the, that's the plasma will be frozen. Fresh frozen plasma and carry precipitate. Yeah. Okay. Um, and do you know any changes in stored blood in terms of the, um, in the composition of the blood? Um, in stored blood, there is an increase in um, 2,3-DPG, which is a product of metabolism. There's also an increase in the potassium concentration because of cell lysis. Um, I think citric acid also increases. Um, there's loss of some of the um, most of some of the plasma products and plasma proteins with time. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. You mentioned citrate. What is citrate used for? Um, citrate is used as an anticoagulant for stored blood. And do you know if anything else is used to store the blood? Uh, So citrate, phosphate, dextrose, um, CPD. I think these dextrose, it provides a source of energy. I can't remember what P, what phosphate does. I think it's um, ATP. I think it provides ATP or I think it's for ATP. Right, and can you tell me the, um, risk, the benefits and the risks of blood transfusions for patients? The benefits of blood transfusion is, um, so um, when for treatment of anemia, especially during surgery, um, where there's believed to be or anticipated increase in blood loss, um, to improve oxygen delivery um, to patients. Um, blood can be used to treat shock, hemorrhagic shock, hypothalamic shock. Um, okay, and, and then just uh, moving on to the risks in the interest of time. The risk, um, yeah, the risk of blood transfusion, um, it could have um, the immune reactions that can occur with blood. You can have immune reactions can be divided into acute hemolytic and um, the uh, acute hemolytic reactions and the delayed hemolytic. Acute hemolytic ones are like a uh, blood group incompatibility. Um, there also be non-immune reactions that could occur, um, fibril reactions, anaphylaxis, um, hypersensitivity reactions, and um, then transfusion associated lung injuries. 
There's also infectious complications of this. That's